Next round. Assassin, huh? The boy with the electric personality. Another hero in the making. <laughs> My favorite. Battle on challengers. This should be good. And this girl, she didn't make it initially, right? She got bumped up after Ojido resigned. I'm not sure why you called me an assassin. I've come to the festival in search of victory, not to take my opponent's life. I didn't enter UA for wicked or selfish reasons, but to deliver salvation to others. Oh, it no. <laughs> to spread true good across this world. I feel like that's dangerous in, in itself. What do I feel like this ends in cult? Look at those big, beautiful eyes. And it looks like she might be strong too. Come on, you idiot. <laughs> She's so cute though. This is terrible. I'm gonna have to ask this girl. You've already lost. Time. You, you've already lost. It's over. Once I win this. You defeated yourself. 1.3 million balls! You know you've played too much Pokemon when you feel like this won't work just because she has green hair. Oh my god, I was right! <laughs> Pokemon is, is always right. You'd always count on Pokemon. She's grass! Yes! Yes, it, it was so clear from the beginning. The advance is on. <laughs> I don't like you doing that. She's Erica, basically. Ibarra Shiozaki. Vines. The design was good. It told me what it was. <laughs> oh no, his his thumbs are, are constricted. Wasn't class 1A supposed to be so much better than us? <laughs> like I said, you can usually tell who's better by who cares about the rivalry less. Which in this case is 1A. Kamui, did you watch that? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't she make, like, the perfect sidekick for you? Oh yeah, they have similar powers. She's great for your brand. You need someone cute. Just get back to work. And that's why she's successful. She has a nose for this, for the business aspect. Kaminari never stood a chance against her. It's when someone's court cancels your hey, 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 hey! I'm glad we got one of those. Someone get this guy a new notebook. Maybe you should take a sec to relax before planning too many matches ahead. Why don't you beat Todoroki first? Here's what I've got on your zero gravity. <laughs> you know, Deku, How do you feel about this? That you're amazing. You've got Flattered so or creeped out? Focus in you. And the sports festival's reminding me of that. That didn't sound positive, but I don't know what she's getting at. Is it worry for herself? I mean, they, they would have to face each other if they keep winning. Please beat her, Ida. <laughs> no more babies. Hero class versus support. Although for some reason I feel like Ida's at a disadvantage. I'm not sure why. The, the hell is that? My heart was moved by my opponent's sportsmanship. You've already lost. <laughs> from the support course, she wanted this to be as even a match as possible since she made it this far. That's why to honor her, I would like to wear this gear. Is it like a, a handicap device? Or is she saying that she's just so much better than him? <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trick. He fights just like he lives. She's got a mic? Hey now. Oh yeah. She's showing off. Zoom, huh? So she has a quirk and she's good at tech? She's just controlling his movements. She's gonna go far in this world. She's the next big thing. I'm calling it. Oh man, Ida, she did you dirty. It's like the home shopping network. What is this? It's a net. Again, I'm May Hatsume, that's H -A -T -S -U she's something. I mean she makes a solid pitch, not gonna lie. I think she's trying to just skip the rest of school. I suppose it's time for me to wrap this show up. Ida was just her victim. Uh, out of bounds. So Ida had better Oh no! <laughs> She doesn't care. She got what she wanted. She's so driven, straightforward about her goals. And from what I can tell, she'll pretty much do whatever it takes to reach them. Amazing. You just a little bit too nice. What's on what's on her mind? She's she's going through some stuff. Is she anticipating a future battle? Let's hope that Johnny Belt's through some kind of purpose. It's Yuga Aoyama from the Hero Course. Bonjour. What do you say? Aoyama will probably keep his distance and try to attack with his laser from far away. 
So it'll all depend on whether or not Ashido can dodge his attacks and manage to use her power against What does it feel like to be hit with Ayama's laser? Does it hurt? I can say the same thing about you. Sure, but there's a big difference. There's something so graphic about him blasting these beams. My beam for more than a second can sometimes hurt my tummy. I know your weakness. Stop. Stop. Here's a big one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good, good. Next. Next round. For my finishing move, Punch in the face. Classic. The winner of this match is Ashiro. Okay. Something about that whole thing made me very uncomfortable. I got to see panties, but why were they here? <laughs> Crying out loud. Karma. Offense and defense in one. The dark samurai and a stark This is a good match. I'm rooting for Tokoyami, but... I'm predicting Momo. This is such an amazing quirk. This is my chance. You're out. What? How? Oh wow, that was fast. Nice. Is it that <laughs> so simple, so straightforward. Is way too powerful. He's good. Yeah, I'm surprised. I bet she's really upset about how that went down. I feel bad for. Yeah, her. she's taking it pretty hard. Okay, let's see. You didn't notice Urak is storming off. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going back to Pokemon on this one. Steel beats rock. I wish I could bet on these. I think I'm doing all right so far. I think I only got uh, Tokuyami wrong. Yeah, what's the point of watching if there's no female contestants? This is going to be a hard one. <laughs> Face? She's getting herself psyched up. She's a real competitor. Bakugo, after all. Whoa. Be an easy match. Yeah, yeah. After seeing your match, I feel a little better. What's that supposed to mean? You can't be as bad as you. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be strong. Very subtle fighting techniques here. I don't think Bakugo would use the full power of his explosions on a girl, right? Yeah, he would. Um, yeah. Maybe I can repay you a little bit with this. No, sorry. What? Whoa. When Ida said that he was trying his best to beat you, I actually felt kind of embarrassed for myself. I have a totally different interpretation of that, completely. Guess I'll see you in the finals. So I think if she actually was doing that because she didn't want to face being on her own, or she felt like she wouldn't be able to do anything without Deku, then I get what she's saying. But I think there was something really nice about that. There was something really nice about putting their friendship before the victory. Like I said, there's multiple games being played here. It's not all about the, the tournament. Or at least it shouldn't be, in my opinion. And I think the show directly alluded to that with the first round of the tournament. Everybody was trying so hard to win the first round, they missed the big picture of the entire tournament. If anything, she put herself at a disadvantage joining with him because everybody was after him and his headband. I think it's perfectly fine and valid to want to rise to the challenge, but to me, this feels more like just, she's panicking. She has fear in the moment. I think one of her challenges is that she's very kind. She's very conscientious and caring, but she's also very competitive and has very clear goals. I think she's cool, so it kind of hurts for me to see her in such a state of self-doubt, but I guess this is just her way of, of processing, of getting herself psyched up, because Bakugo is not an easy opponent. He's pretty terrifying. The punching continues. Double KO. Who gets up first? Very similar. It's inspiring, really. I could use a good sidekick like that. <laughs> I love these heroes scouting in the wings. Yeah, it's a good look for them. Here we go. I'm calling Bakugo for this one. Is that what you call that face? Determined? Very honest. Yo, don't count her out, though. More determined face. Let the eight match begin! Oh no, am I about to get cliffhangered? Damn it. Do 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 do
<laughs> All right, so I think I can actually make a prediction for the rest of the tournament based on where this is right now. So in the next round, first match will be Deku versus Todoroki. Then Ida and Grass Girl, I think. Spit Girl and Tokoyami. Then whoever won this rock and steel battle, and honestly it doesn't matter because they're both the same person, versus what I'm guessing will be Bakugo. Deku will probably beat Todoroki just because I can't see him going out this early. Then I think even though Vine Girl has an advantage over Ida because of the, the Vine powers and she can slow him down, I think Ida wins because I think him throwing down the challenge to Deku sets up for their battle. I'm pretty sure Tokoyami beats Spit Girl. Bakugo definitely beats rock or steel, especially if it's steel, sticking with the Pokemon types. Which leads us to the final four, where Deku beats Ida, and Bakugo beats Tokoyami. And then you got the epic Deku-Bakugo matchup, in which, and here I'm not so sure, I think Bakugo wins, but Deku still accomplishes his goal of being a symbol. Maybe it involves villains attacking. I don't know. <laughs> That's my, like, NCAA first year hero tournament prediction. We'll see how close I get. One of the things that makes it hard to predict a winner is that Menudo's not in it. He was the clear choice and now he's out. So that's just my best guess on his absence. But yeah, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time when Uchako loses but learns a valuable and heartwarming lesson. <laughs>